Hi everyone and welcome to this Scratch Junior tutorial. This is tutorial number four where we'll be making the moonrise after the sun sets. This is a two-part tutorial so before you complete this one you need to do tutorial number three where we learn how to make the sunset. You can find this lesson on the Scratch Junior website which is linked in the description below. So you'll see on the screen right now we've got the code from the last tutorial where the sun sets. We'll quickly watch it again, we'll reset it and press start, and that's our code. For this one, we're going to learn how we can add a new page and edit a background. So on the right hand side of your screen here is where we can add new pages to our coding. So we're going to press the plus here, and we're going to delete Scratch the Cat by holding our finger until it jiggles and pressing the X. And we want to find a new character, and this character will be our crescent-shaped moon. So let's scroll down until we find that one, and this is it right here, and press the tick. Next, we need to find our background. So we're going to go to our backgrounds button up the top, and we want to find the, the nighttime scene here with the mountains. And you'll see this one already has a moon. So before we press the tick, we're going to press the paintbrush and we're going to delete that moon from it. So find the scissors here on the right hand side and press it. And then we press on our moon and you'll see it disappears. So now we can press the tick. And now we've got our background without the first moon. And now we've got our character moon, which we can move around. So we're going to put this one here up the top. And then we can do our coding. So to start our program, we need to go back to our first page where we had our code for the sun. And we want to actually get rid of this end block here by dragging it off the programming area. And you'll see that there's a new programming block here, a new end block. And what that says is when this code finishes, if we've got this selected at the end, it will then run the code that's on the second page. So we've done that, we've swapped it around, and now we can do the code for the moon. Let's go to our start blocks and choose the green flag. Probably need to position our moon down a little bit lower, about here I think, because we need to make the moon rise. So go to our direction blocks and we want to go up, And we want to change this number here, let's say to a number seven, and then we can end our code with a regular end block. So let's press the green flag and run our code. There we go, you can see our moon rises up. Actually comes up down the bottom here, but we can debug that a bit later. So let's go to our first page and run the entire code in full. Press the reset to start it all. And the green flag, go. Perfect. So have a think about how you might make the code run so that the moon doesn't appear down the bottom. But now that you've made new pages, what can you make that has three or four pages? And then what happens if you drag a character from one page to another? So it's your turn to have a go. Thanks for watching, and remember you can find these easy to follow tutorials uh, by visiting the Scratch Junior website, which is linked in the video description below. Until next time, happy coding. 